how long can Kelly Harper hang on? First, let me start with you. John, what did you think of the Lady Ball basketball exhibition on Monday that happened to be in the NCAA basketball tournament? Well, it uh, again showed its uh, comeback ability, but it all it, it it comes back, but then it it doesn't close the deal, and and that's what you have to do in the NCAA tournament. You don't get points, obviously, for a nice comeback coming back from a twenty point deficit, cutting it to two. Um, yeah, Tennessee. I mean, I thought Tennessee would lose to NC State. It did. I think Tennessee has elite eight talent, even though it didn't get that far. Uh, I think Kelly Harper will last one more year. I think uh, Danny White, the AD, will fire after next season, make a change. Caleb? I think it's ultimate humiliation in debasing itself for Tennessee if they keep Kelly Harper for even one more year. Yeah. Let's think about this for a minute. <laughs> come on. I mean, that's a little subtle, isn't it, Caleb? Just, come on. I mean, let, no, it, let it go, not, Caleb. Let it it's go. It's not. Tennessee just lost to the coach that was hired to replace Kelly Harper when she was fired at NC State. <laughs> like, like, this is the Lady Vols program, the pinnacle of women's basketball, and they hired a coach, and they just lost to a program that fired a coach that they went and hired. Now, Maybe Philip Fulmer and they thought that they were getting Gene Stallings, like when Alabama hired Gene Stallings 20 years after he was fired by another school. Okay. Uh, maybe they thought that's what they were getting in Kelly Harper, but they weren't. They hired her, and I rant on this all the time, John. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. Oh, you're, you you seem wound up. Go ahead. Never hire a basketball coach because of one hot NCAA tournament run. It happens all the time and it seems like athletic directors think that's indicative of them doing a good job at the place they were at kelly harper made one ncaa tournament at missouri state now she got lucky and got to the sweet 16 with that ncaa tournament run and then the administration decides well you know what this missouri state coach who had one sweet 16 one and one ncaa tournament appearance in five years and was fired by nc state she's real cut out to be the lady balls head coach and (laughs) I just, Caleb, would, would you mind uh, just summing all that up in a few paragraphs and send me the email? I'd like to run it at my email column, if you don't mind. <laughs> really? Oh, he's kidding. Um, um, I mean, it's, but it's, it's true. They, she wasn't qualified for the job when she got it. She's and a lady vol through and through, Caleb. Come on. That, that's oh, exactly, wow. It, oh, well, I, and that's I exactly what it was, it. wasn't it? I mean, yeah, for, yes. For the crew, I mean, that, that made it easier for Philip Fulmer and was a huge, monstrous win early in his illustrious athletic director. <laughs> the the mafia surrounding <laughs> that program <laughs> is going to kill the program. I'm dead serious about it. There is a Lady Vol contingency that is stuck in the 70s that says things are done this way and only this way and this is how we do it and that's it's a mafia mentality and it's going to ruin <laughs> the program it's going to ruin the program and by the way you I, I, john you'll bring up danny white that may how much he cares i don't think danny white's the issue i think it's the lady of all contingency that surrounds danny white and surrounds the administration that pressures you to say you need to hire a former lady of all by the way pat summit wasn't even a former lady of all people need to kind of figure that part out she didn't play for tennessee Okay, so I don't know why they do that, but they demand it and they demand that you don't do certain things to recruit. They demand you act in a certain way and they take all the fun out of it because they're so stuck in a time. Kelly Harper made, I think, I think she made three NCAA tournaments in her career. And it was like a 12, 13 year coaching career before Tennessee hired her. And former at the press conference, I'll never forget, say, said she's won everywhere she's been. Really? Really, she's won everywhere she's been. And now you just got beat by the school with the head coach by the school that fired that head coach. And you're supposed to be the most elite program in college basketball, and you thought that head coach was good enough for you. John, I never thought that the Lady Vols Vols program would be compared to the Mafia. So that was kind of. No, the contingency, well, yeah, the way they run the well, athletic department. Yeah, and the it's, the, it's the, the problem is it's the mafia post like 2000. 
it's not pre-mafia. If they were pre-mafia, po- pre-2000, it'd be like, hell, you're winning all kinds of national titles. It's post-mafia where they can't even control Vegas anymore. And I've got to deal with some dude named Eddie who's got to take my card to see if I qualify for a free drink. But it's not personal. Uh, so, John, <laughs> this basketball team, if they go out and do what, it's a definite in Danny White's mind next season that they're getting rid of him. Shim, her. Hmm? Kelly Harper. Yes, the coach. Yeah, I think, uh, I just think if you make it to the Sweet 16 next year, I still think you should make a change. I don't think it'll advance that far. It's hard to imagine the team being better without Rakia Jackson than it was with Rakia Jackson. Well, now, wait a second. I'm going to back my guy Caleb on this because he wrote after the SEC tournament that it's time to make a change. And every source that I talked to said, well, he can say that and he might be right, but it's not going to happen in this particular year. And you you seem to be saying the same thing. And I know you talk to people. So if, if we all yeah. think that that's the best she's going to do next year, then why not go Caleb's route and go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off? Well, John? because Danny White, did, it, it makes him... I think it makes him look bad because oh, last year gave her contract. He said, no, I'm looking at it from his vantage point. It, that that is, shouldn't be a factor. No, but I think it is. John, he, you are he, not, you have never looked at something from a vantage point of this could get me in trouble. And if he's looking at it from that vantage point, then maybe he's not the athletic director that I thought he was. Is Well, one thing about him, he has a great, we've talked about this before, he has a great record of hiring coaches. I think he could hire someone better. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And I think he can save some money by waiting till next year uh, okay, to make sure. Team- I mean, if, I were, if it were my call, yeah, I would make a, ch- I would make a change now, but it's not my call. So. But what's the money for this crew? I mean, Nico Yamaleva is making more money than Kelly Harper is, and I hate to tell you, it ain't even close. So what's money to this institution? Yeah, but he doesn't have his spouse on the on the payroll. Um, well, well, I, I so, just don't understand. I mean, I, I, I explain, wait, wait. What, explain what you mean about that spouse on the payroll. Oh, no, I'm just I'm just joking. I mean, Kelly Harper's husband oh, is an husband. assistant coach. Yeah, well, I, well, I Nico is not married, and unless yeah, you did I don't think they're going for a two for one or keeping Kelly to keep him. No, I I just think I mean yeah I would make a I would make a change, but I just don't think Danny White will. Do you think he will? I actually don't either. I'm a hundred percent in agreement with you, but I I just don't understand. Why, if, why that's the narrative coming out of the university when I'll, I, I'm not afraid to say it. More people clicked on Caleb's column on our website for the past 30, 30 days about uh, Kelly Harper should be fired after the SEC tournament so that she doesn't give herself a chance to keep her job. Well, she kind of sort of did. And they made her run against the team. They, did. She got bounced know, out in the second I, round. I know I'm reaching. I know. But they made a run. So you you leave a that run. game and already I know they made One a win run. is a run? No, Where no, is this no, program no, falling to? No, 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 no. They made a run. Here, here's I'm trying to defend you here, Caleb. They made a run in the second half. So you say to yourself, I'm I'm being I'm being devil's advocate. So I say to myself, well they kept fighting for her and they made a run there. And let's see what she's uh, she's going to do next year because those ladies fought hard for her. That's the that's the argument. I'm not saying I believe it, and the run is certainly not a one game win. I didn't mean that. I meant just in the second half. Well, you know, Alabama was very close in a lot of their losses in 2006. They probably should have kept Mike Shula around for another year. I mean, you know, they almost won a lot of those games in 2006. So they could have they should they should have just kept Mike Shula going forward, right, guys? The re- the- yeah, the rest of the SEC says amen very loudly. <laughs> here's okay, we're talking about okay, we agree on this, but what here's how I think Kelly Harper could check could save her job. Funnel a huge portion of your her salary through shell companies into the NIL fund. I'll be the shell company. She's, she and her husband are making over a million dollars, so that's five hundred thousand. 
My hand is what, raised. Man? I'll be the shell company. But not oh, all of okay, it's going cool. to Lady Vols. A lot of it's going to some football players. But I'll interview Lady Vols if it means we can get the football players. So she puts her money into that. She goes out and gets the three best transfers she can buy. She hires a tactician as an assistant coach. Someone like Bob Starkey at LSU that works for Kim Mulkey. He's got a lot. He's a very good tactician, uh, proven over decades. Uh, get that kind of, and then and then hire a new recruiter because they're not recruiting. Yeah, they have it. They actually have a terrible and, class, I think, this year. Yes. Yeah. And then one more thing: lighten the schedule. She played yeah. a tough non-conference schedule. That's not going to serve her well. It helps her strength of schedule, helped her seeding in the tournament. But next season, she needs to worry about making the tournament. So she's yeah. got to uh, get 20, 20 wins. Well, she needs to call boundless moving. Uh, boundless moving, you can Google it, from their two-hour minimum to a turnkey operations, which I'm sure she might need because she needs to go ahead and get into that new house, wherever that may be. They've got you covered. Uh, that is boundless moving. They made they made my move just complete effortless, and I'm sure they could do the same for Kelly Harper. So that's boundless moving. Again, check out boundless moving. They can actually come in and do absolutely everything, or you can have like a uh, slave 19-year-old who – uh, helps them carry some stuff and save yourself a little bit of money. But I, I went with that route, but you can do whatever you want. That's balanced moving. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, John, so if I give you these three options, she um, is fired in these next couple of days. She is fired after next year, or she hangs on out of that. Not only what would be your pick, but how would you rate them in odds of probability? Oh, well, I would go heavy on fired after next year okay. because okay. I, I just don't think that I don't think the team will be as good next year. And it lost 13 games this year and couldn't get past the second round. That tells me it will it, a best case scenario for next year's team would be to lose in the make the tournament and then lose in the first round. Good gracious. All right. If they don't make the tournament, then I'm going to pull this show up right now and I'm going to pull all of our analytics up and show everybody how Caleb was right, what, now, two weeks ago. I am I – mean, if that if you're waiting for another – this is one thing to wait for an NCAA tournament. It's another thing to wait for a whole season if you don't think she's the one. Danny, If Danny White's thinking what John Adams just said and he's not pulling the trigger, I, God bless him. It's not going to last long term. Well, I will say this. You know who wouldn't have been scared to pull the trigger on this? Dave Hart. Dave Hart would have, whatever you want to say about Dave Hart, he'd have gone right. He'd have, he'd have pulled the trigger on Kelly Harper in a heartbeat if if he needed to. Yeah, he and... would have probably rented her, rented the car and run her over and try to get away with it. He would <laughs> no, he 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 would have said she can't be she can't be called Lady Vols coach anymore. Right. Oh That's yes, right. that is very true. But I I actually I think I I think we'll see that and you know this is going to be data because I'm going to repurpose this later this afternoon, but. I think we're going to see an announcement in the next couple of days. I disagree with you. I think, guys, really? I, think, I think Danny White's going to make an announcement by Friday. I got a hunch. I think too. he's going to make an announcement uh, by really? Friday. Really? And I what do you base that on? A gut feeling? That's what Dave Hart used to hire Butch Jones. I think that he's waiting <laughs> for one, this is a good time to fire her because Tennessee is making a Sweet 16 run in men's basketball. So you don't have to deal with like any sort of like publicity fallout from doing it. So it's a good time to fire her and you can begin your coaching search while all the NCAA tournaments going on and hire who you want to hire. I'm just saying this is actually a, they say there's never a good time to fire. No, there's a great time to fire when, when one of your programs isn't generating a ton of news, you fire the coach of the other program. That's a great time to fire. So right. let's go yeah. Caleb versus John Caleb versus John is there will be an announcement that Kelly Harper is fired at some point in the coming days before the 2024-2025 season. Caleb's taking that side. John's taking the other. What is a friendly wager between you two? I'm thinking you have to do the one shirt entirely shirtless, one show entirely. I'm not doing a show shirtless, so that's not happening. Okay. No, I'm not either. And, and no, I'm not making any bet on it. <laughs> Even though it's going to be an, it would be an easy win for me. I'd... Ouch! I don't know why they're not just making it right now. 